Stoicism has never been a philosophy only restricted to men. Its principles focus on the improvement of the human condition, and that goes for all humans regardless of age, ethnicity, income bracket or gender. Stoicism provides guidance on the types of individuals one might encounter in life and how to deal with them, and also the type of people we have to avoid. Let's have a look on them and be careful about them. If you are enjoying the content on my channel, I will be thrilled if you could show some support by liking and subscribing. The ancient Stoics had an uneven track record with regard to women's standing. On the one hand, they recognized women as fully capable of rationality and virtue. On the other hand, they continued to hold that women's roles were in the home. Epictetus and many other Stoics, including Cicero, Musonius and Seneca, women are viewed as ultimately dependent on men for success. Although Epictetus does raise women above the status of sex object to one of modesty, an improvement to be sure, he still defines women's goodness in terms of how they appear to men. According to Lactantius, an early Christian author, the Stoics said that both women and slaves should be taught philosophy because he says they saw no difference between their capacity for wisdom and that of free men. This is very clearly a rejection of Aristotle's notion of natural slavery. Here are seven types of people that Stoicism warns us about suggesting that we be cautious around them or avoid them altogether. Number one, the gossip. Stoics often spoke of the importance of focusing on one's own actions and character rather than the affairs of others' people who constantly gossip or meddle in others. Affairs can be a distraction. Engaging with gossips can drag you into unnecessary dramas and can divert you from your path. An individual who indulges in idle talk or rumors about others often more interested in others' lives than their own. They thrive on sharing and at times exaggerating details regardless of the truth or consequence gossips can be disruptive for several reasons. Stoicism encourages to look inward and focus on self-improvement. Gossips by nature did the opposite concentrating on external matters and other people's lives. Engaging with all being around gossips can bring negative energy as the topics are often centered around criticism, judgments, or personal secrets in essence. It's advisable to approach such individuals with caution and ensure that we don't become part of the rumor mill. Number two, the complainer. Stoicism teaches an acceptance and understanding that some things are beyond our control. Complainers often dwell on the negatives and the things they cannot change expending their energy fruitlessly. They can drain your energy and dampen your spirit with their constant lamentations. The complainer is an individual who habitually focuses on the negative's shortcoming and adversities often expressing dissatisfaction regardless of the situation. Constant negativity can be exhausting. Listening to endless complaints can sap one's enthusiasm and morale, stunted growth instead of finding solutions or learning from challenges. Complainers often remain stuck in their problems preventing personal growth. Infectious pessimism, constant exposure to a complainer, can influence others to adopt a similar mindset, seeing obstacles instead of opportunities. Focus on the negative can make one lose perspective on the bigger picture, missing out on life's blessings. Number three, the arrogant. Epictetus, one of the great Stoic philosophers warned against believing oneself to be something superior. The arrogant see themselves above others, which goes against the Stoic principle of humility and universal brotherhood. Engaging too deeply with arrogant individuals can disrupt your own humility and sense of balance. Arrogant individual is characterized by an inflated sense of self-importance and a belief in their superiority over others. Such people often dismiss the opinions, feelings and contributions of others, believing their perspective to be the most valuable. Here's a snapshot of the challenges they pose, lack of empathy. Arrogance often comes with an inability to empathize or genuinely understand others, viewpoints leading to communication breakdowns and strained relationships, resistance to learning. Believing they know best, the arrogant might resist new information or feedback hindering their growth and adaptability conflict generation. Their dismissive attitude can lead to conflicts as they may challenge those who oppose their views. The constant display of superiority can alienate colleagues, friends and family, leading to social isolation in essence. Number four, 
short-tempered. Stoics value peace of mind and inner tranquility. Marcus emphasized understanding and passion over anger, associating too closely with the short-tempered can disturb your inner tranquility. The short-tempered individual is marked by a quickness to anger and a lack of patience. With situations or people that do not align with their expectations, their reactions are often impulsive and explosive, even in response to minor triggers. Unpredictability interactions with a short-tempered person can be like walking on eggshells never knowing what might set them off. Stifled communication, their propensity to erupt, can hinder open dialogue as others may fear, inciting their anger, leading to suppressed feelings and unresolved issues. The short-tempered person's quickness to anger can lead to a cascade of negative outcomes, affecting not only their well-being, but also that of the those around them. It's crucial to approach such individuals with patience and understanding, while also setting clear boundaries to maintain one's own mental peace. Number five, the hedonist. While there's nothing wrong with enjoying life's pleasures, stoicism cautions against overindulgence or letting pleasure dictate one's life. Those who prioritize pleasure above all else may lack self-control and can lead you astray from more meaningful pursuits. The hedonist is an individual who passionately pursues pleasure and self-indulgence, often placing these desires above all, else their primary motivation is to seek out and enjoy life's luxuries and sensory pleasures. Hedonists often prioritize immediate gratification over long-term goals or consequences. This can lead to impulsiveness and lack of foresight potential. Relationships built around the pursuit of pleasure might lack depth and can be fleeting, as they are often based on shared indulgences rather than genuine connection or values. Relentless chase of pleasure might lead hedonists to neglect their duties, responsibilities, or even their personal growth in essence. While there's nothing inherently wrong with seeking pleasure, it can lead to imbalance and potential pitfalls in life. It's essential to strike a balance between enjoying life's pleasures and upholding responsibilities and deeper values. Number six, the pessimist. Stoicism teaches us to see the world as it is accepting both the good and the bad. Pessimists, however, see only the bleakness. Constant exposure to such negativity can affect your perception and resilience, making it harder for you to face life's challenges with a balanced perspective. The pessimist is characterized by a general tendency to see the negative side of situations. Pessimists might be resistant to change or new ideas, believing they are destined to fail, which can stifle innovation and progress draining morale. Constant negativity can sap the energy and enthusiasm of those around them, leading to a decline in team or group morale. Self-fulfilling prophecies by expecting the worst. Pessimists might inadvertently influence outcomes through their lack of effort or commitment, resulting in the very failures. Number seven, the manipulator. Stoicism strive for authenticity and directness in their dealings. Manipulators, on the other hand, can be deceptive using others for their gain. Associating with such individuals can lead to mistrust and can derail your journey towards virtuous living. The manipulator is an individual who seeks to control or influence others, often for personal gain using subtle, deceptive or underhanded tactics. A manipulator can be emotionally taxing as one constantly tries to discern genuine gestures. Manipulators often twist facts and play with emotions to shape perceptions over time. This can lead to a distorted sense of reality. In conclusion, Stoicism guides us on how to approach these individuals. It doesn't necessarily promote cutting ties abruptly. Instead, it's about recognizing these traits, understanding their potential impact on our well-being and navigating our relationship ship with wisdom and caution. As with everything in Stoicism, self-awareness and reflection are the key. Hope it will prove to be helpful for you. Your support matters a lot. Thanks for watching. We'll be back with some more informative videos of your interest.